so now we are switching on uh, hand heaters for the test you see at level two we're placing them on the sensors let's do that and here we have uh, iot device for the temperature measurement and let's run the simulation which will read the sensors data and we see here that sensors data is already here and we see the requirement is not satisfied that requirement is for the limit of the temperature that it shall be between 30 and 45. You see it took like 15 seconds and we already at the line, right level. Okay, it's more than 50, a little bit, right? 17, 20, and we already at the right level of the temperature. Now we increase the temperature and we see that requirement for the 5%, no more than 5% difference between the uh, heaters temperature is already satisfied from the beginning so at any moment is no more than five percent that requirement satisfied here we see those requirements for the sensors right here we see this five uh, six hours total duration of the heating uh, between 30 and 45 uh, and uh, five percent requirement See the temperature is increasing, uh, and once the temperature will reach, uh, will stabilize, we'll finish this specific test. Can you see the heaters at uh, level two? Okay, let's talk about uh, model-based system engineering and hardware in the loop, and specifically, we'll uh, take a uh, use case of uh, model-based testing. Uh, and we'll demonstrate uh, how the testing equipment can work together with the requirements and system architecture in uh, Katia Magic to perform external hardware verification and validation in our case. So uh, our sample will be in the heaters, hand heaters, uh, testing uh, and that's quite of sophisticated equipment uh, and uh, definitely approaches scales so we just need to apply with different uh, configurations so what is the problem uh, so fishing in Oklahoma in winter is fun but uh, you need to operate uh, for a whole day freezing temperature uh, in uh, the river and that uh, requires uh, some uh, preparation. So uh, what could be a solution? Solution can be rechargeable pocket heaters, uh, which is key for the success because you don't want to get cold and then there is no fun. So what is the question? How to know what device is right and that your device is actually right? So here we put some user needs. So for example, uh, fishing might happen freezing temperature the we, the operation can take whole day so ensure that hands heating for whole day of fishing uh, is supported and then we need to keep uh, uh, heating comfortable so do not burn your hands while keeping them warm so from that we derive uh, system requirements so here we have uh, user needs and then system requirements uh, based on cold environment so environment temperature could be around zero right uh, keep it warm so ensure uh, constant uh, heating between 30 and uh, 45 celsius then ensure constant heating from uh, for more than six hours on single charge that's about how long we will uh, fish ensure no more than five percent difference between each uh, hand heaters at any moment so that's important because like if one is working faster and uh, uh, working uh, stronger that's not comfortable so here we capture the system part and then we have requirements and then we satisfy them with uh, properties of the system and the environment and as you can see here also we capture user uh, needs and system uh, context uh, so what is our system heaters we are interacting with those heaters we get heat we provide control like uh, level of heat uh, turn on on off uh, we get freezing temperature from the environment and also we get cold water from fish so what is our test bench architecture 
because we have you are not teaching how to model system architecture we were concentrating on hardware in the loop so here is our test bench architecture we are running uh, katia magic with mosquito uh, broker mqtt broker lightweight communication protocol and uh, with help of the mqtt script uh, javascript to support mqtt we can uh, send and receive uh, data from the and connected hardware so we are sending that data to the node red again running on our pc could run remotely we are sending that data to node red and node red is the no zero, uh, uh, almost no code uh, wiring uh, hardware uh, open source software which allows us to wire signals from uh, specific topics in uh, coming from Katia Magic to the external uh, uh, thousands of libraries of other different devices. And in our case, we are using uh, industrial cloud, uh, IoT cloud solution Blink, which has virtual pins. So based on library, we can interact with the node red uh, directly via them. And then those virtual pins are implemented in the Arduino. Arduino has two sensors. And those sensors allows us to measure two hand heaters and even compare at the same time, you know, uh, heating uh, acceleration uh, difference of between temperatures, uh, uh, the limits of the temperatures reach and how fast they reach and uh, how long it will keep the charge in the limit. So all that stuff, you know, is pretty much configurable, highly, highly configurable. And we just connected everything for the demonstration purposes. Here we see test bench, so we have Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. It is uh, connected to IoT, cl IoT Cloud, and as you can see here, there is nothing more than just two uh, humidity and temperature sensors connected, which can be used to measure the heat coming from the heaters. And we can set up the testing dashboard. Every sensor has the temperature. Then we can expose the temperature to the nice UI. And then we can control the difference between uh, tolerance between the heaters uh, with the rotational switch. Okay, here we are running the testing of the hand heaters. So we can see they are sending the temperatures and the temperatures are coming through the sensors and we see that we are failing requirements for the uh, temperature difference uh, between uh, the sensors and uh, this is five percent we see that the temperature difference is now more than five percent and uh, also we are failing requirement for minimum temperature of 30 celsius we see that this requirement is no longer failed here. And also once the temperature stabilizes, we also uh, stop failing requirement for the 5%. And that's actually happened at the same moment here in time in 32 seconds. So half minute took to stabilize the heaters. Um, and those heaters actually right now, right now are working on the most powerful um, setting, like fourth heating level. So we'll see the temperature rising up to 45 Celsius. Uh, that's the upper limit. Uh, and we have actually requirement that it should not cross that upper limit, should be less than 45. We see it's growing. Uh, how this works is actually here we have uh, uh, activity, which is reading the data from the sensors. And the data you see it's coming in the loop you know it's uh, using the uh, mosquito uh, broker mqtt protocol uh, here we can see those uh, behaviors or big behaviors to uh, close open publish and subscribe so we open the connection we, we listen for the sensor for this topic for the sensor for pin 3 topic and then we subscribe to the topic and then we add the temperature of each sensor as you can see here both sensors are based on this uh, behavior inside of this and sensor here has this temperature here this temperature so we get the temperature we can li listen for a number of topics unlimited number of topics 
and that gives us communication to any MQTT device directly from uh, Katia Magic Cameo, very powerful method. As you can see the temperature is rising uh, and uh, you can actually also specify how often you read that, you know, you see here it's uh, based on the available signal, pretty much the animation is up to 100% and we just uh, loop and read again. Uh, on top of that, we have here Node-RED, uh, which is open source uh, hardware wiring uh, software, uh, as you can see here running on this PC, which allows us to read the IoT Cloud uh, properties and pass them to the MQTT Mosquitoes uh, broker on the specific topic here, and we have here the server running. So that's, uh, that's how we connect. And uh, also we have here another time-based synchronization so that we could control when do we get the inputs from the from IoT Cloud. This IoT Cloud is uh, Blink. So we can connect to that uh, IoT Cloud uh, here. Uh, Blink is, uh, is industrial cloud, uh, allows us to use uh, reliable industrial based uh, connectivity and equipment and you see here we have uh, humidity inputs from the sensors and we have temperature inputs 42 right we could check that it's actually same here you see 43 now right uh, come back to that dashboard of the cloud and for example change visually see it comes back because it gets updated result so this is dashboard in iot cloud which on this on that uh, um, node connects to the actually hardware with measurement hardware in our cases arduino r4 uno wi-fi again back to the cameo and we see here you see that i've changed those parameters uh, directly from i2 cloud you know it jumped and it caught it by not red here this jump uh, if i will scroll down you see this is coming dynamically see this was jump uh, 96 and it actually published uh, to cameo right so we see here was the jump captured okay we see the temperature is stabilizing it is no not more than uh, 45 it's 43 uh, hopefully it will not uh, uh, grow more than that uh, and that's how the solution works um, now from the SysML simulation side when we run that simulation we are using library for MQTT connection establishment as you can see here we have that library to open connection to close connection if needed then to publish so publishing would be via publishing two specific uh, uh, topic as we can see pin one pin three we are publishing uh, to, to those topics uh, data and the data gets uh, uh, received by someone who subscribes so here we have subscribe uh, behavior library and you can see here this is uh, javascript we don't need to see that code we just show it that it's here but we just drag it on activity and then we can say okay we are subscribed to pin one topic and then we capture result as the temperature coming from the sensor on the topic and here we subscribe to pin three topic and then we capture temperature coming from the topic and then we run in the loop and we can capture like thousand times per minute or so and then someone else is sending to the to the MQTT broker. As a result, we get uh, fish and we keep uh, hands warm and not too warm, not too cold, and uh, that makes us happy. So we invite you to join uh, uh, first of the kind uh, hardware in the loop with Katia Magic uh, and Arduino workshop at MBSC Cyber Systems Symposium. In Dallas May 13 16 in that two hours workshop we will explain in details but also will provide you with the samples which allows you to reproduce that uh, use case and uh, 
we have thousands of possible hardwares and uh, softwares in the loop. Thank you.